Grace and peace to you. This is yours truly, Bishop Bowser, coming at you once again. You know, the state of Black America is not good. The homicide rate for Black Americans in all 50 states is at average eight times higher than that of white people. Black Americans, the homicide rate in all 50 states is at average eight times higher than that of white people. Not only that, but three out of every four black children are born out of wedlock. 85 of every 100 black children that are in a broken or never married home live in poverty. 85 out of every 100 children in a single parent home lives in poverty. Not only that, but seven out of 10 black males that are in the criminal justice system come from a single parent home. That's why we see the chaos in our communities. It comes from a subculture that has corrupted the black culture. We talk about hip hop, gangs, and all that comes with that. Now, here are some things that we can do to fix it, right? Number one, we have to keep black marriages together, right? And we have to understand that fatherlessness has a greater impact on the black community than racism or poverty. We need fathers in the home. And so we got to do everything we can to keep black marriages together. And then number two, we must equip ourselves with skills that society is willing to buy. That means our skills must be of value and sustainable. I see a lot of guys that get out of prison and they can't find a job because of the criminal record. But then some of these young men start their own businesses. And that's what we have to do, whether it's in landscaping, janitorial, um, construction. Uh, there are many different fields we can go. And I see people selling beauty products, uh, folks getting into opening up their own car washes or whatever it is, whatever service that you can provide as we as black people, we need to start doing for ourselves, creating our own businesses and supporting each other. That's how we uplift each other. Once we keep the black family together, we got to start being able to build an economy that will support us and empower us. And then number three, we must um, expose and eject the ghetto mindset. The ghetto mentality perpetuates a cycle of poverty, violence, and limited opportunities that promotes what we call um, stereotypes, negative stereotypes. And that's what we have to work on, right? We have to make sure that our um, mindset is right, right? And, that, and when we talk about the ghetto mindset, we, we, we're not just talking about uh, poverty, right? But we're talking about uh, building a, a financial economic base like what I just mentioned, but also we're bankrupt spiritually, morally, right? And we got to build that up. Uh, we have a lot of lip service. Uh, the scripture says these people worship me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. We draw nigh to God and he'll draw nigh to you. That's with our heart. And so our, our, our society, I mean, a lot of young men that don't even know God, don't even have any spiritual values. We got to get back to our roots, right, of God, Yahweh, and serving him. Um, and then also, we, when you talk about the ghetto mentality, um, um, it, 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 that perpetuates a cycle of poverty and violence and limited opportunities because of the um, negative stereotypes that we that comes from our corrupt culture. We got to also look at things like our social right bankrupt right socially. 
we have a lot of things that's going on in our community socially that we need to repair and that we need to fix that comes from a ghetto mindset that has created a subculture, right? Within hip hop and gangs, everything you see on social media, most of the time that gets a lot of views is negative, right? And we gotta turn that around to where that negative into a positive, right? And then physically also, when you're talking about the ghetto mindset, uh, we are bankrupt physically. We don't take care of ourselves. High blood pressure, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, high cholesterol, and many other different types of um, health conditions that we don't work on. When we get our mind right, we'll get our body right. When we get our mind right, we'll get our beliefs right. When we get our beliefs right, we'll get our actions right. When we get our actions right, we'll get the right outcomes. So family matters, right? And because uh, black America is in trouble and we got to fix that. And it begins with the family. All right. God bless you.